Hi and welcome. In this episode I'm going to build a hallway furniture. It's going to be a cabinet with a side bench. I drew it up in Fusion 360 to uh, check the design, uh, to get it the way I want it. So I'm going to try to build it. Let's see what it turns out to. Thanks for watching. I first started to cut out the pieces to the frame of my table saw. The frame is made out of 16mm MDF board. I did some marks for the shelves and uh, marked out the, for the dolls. And then I drilled holes in the sides and the mid frame for the dolls. Before I glued everything together, I had to do a test fit. Checking that everything is square and then it was time to glue the shelves to the frame. Once again, shaking the square. Checking that everything is square and using clamps to hold it while the glue dries. Clamp it and uh, once again check that everything is square. I mark what's front and what is up so I don't mix that up later. Gluing the side of the frame uh, and hopefully everything fits. I used the nail gun to hold it together. While the glue is drying I started to cut out the pieces for the top part of the cabinet where the small drawers will be. And in the same way, gluing and nailing them together. After the top part I flipped the cabinet over and started to work on the base and uh, I did that in the same way as I did the top part. Cut out uh, MDF board, glued and nailed together. Using clamps to hold it while I nailed it to the cabinet. Marking out the midsection, uh, gluing it, uh, fit it in place and using some weight to uh, hold it in place. Meanwhile the glued parts on the main cabinet were drying, I started to cut out the pieces for the bench.
Once again, glue and nail gun, holding the parts together. To give the bench some extra strength, I uh, jointed and planed some uh, pine wood to help carry the load from the bench top. Once again, gluing and nailing. And I flipped the bench over and uh, glued the base part on. Then gluing and nailing the uh, last piece of the front on the bench. After that I started working on the drawers, resewing the lumber, jointing and planing it to get the right dimension, and finally taking it through the table saw. Once again test fitted every part and marked out the uh, rabbit joints. I made the rabbit joints and the bottom groove in each drawer with a straight router bit in the router table. After I routed each part I made it some fine adjustment with a chisel and then gluing it all together using clamps to hold it and when the glue had dried I routed out the path for the sliders. I made the bottoms for the drawer boxes with uh, 4mm plywood. I made the drawer sliders out of some scrap wood glued to the sides. And for the six larger drawers I decided to go with MDF and I did them in the same way as I did the smaller drawers, making the rabbit joints in the router. When all the drawer parts were done I glued them together. Holding it down with some clamps and, uh, and leave them for the glue to dry. I passed each drawer through the router making the groove for the drawer box bottom. I also made these box bottoms out of 4mm plywood. Just uh, fastened them with some thin nails. For each drawer I made a drawer front out from a 12mm MDF board. This might be the most tricky part to fit every front individually to each drawer. I cut out stripes from 6mm MDF board that would make the mirrors on the fronts. Chamfer all the edges in the router. using the miter saw to cut the 45 degrees angles and test fit them on each front before I glued and nailed them in place. To hold each drawer front in place I used some uh, double sided uh, tape. While the tape were holding the front uh, in place it was easy to um, drill the holes for the screws that were going to hold the front. I then removed the tape and uh, screwed the fronts in place. And just for decoration, I glued and nailed a list above the drawers. And for the bench top, I used some rough cut, uh, nice looking elm wood that I flattened in the jointer and planed it uh, to the desired size. 
Well, the sides were flattened and the angle was uh, square. I took it to the bandsaw to resaw it in two pieces. After the sewing was done, I passed it through the plane one more time to flatten the surface. And I could then lay them up and align the grain to create a beautiful pattern. With a bunch of clamps and some wood glue, I joined the two pieces together to create the top for the cabinet and also the bench top. When the glue was dry, I passed it one final time through the table saw to form the final size. Now the top was too wide to go through my planer, so I had to flatten it out with a router and a sled. That worked just as well, but it's just a bit time consuming. After the flattening procedure, it was time to chamfer the edges of the top, using a chamfer bit in the router table. I did the final sanding with a random orbit sander, and to sand it even I used the pen to just mark the surface. And that way it made it a lot easier to see where I passed with the sander. I started with 80 grid and uh, finished it with a 240 grid. And I used some brackets to hold the top in place. And maybe the most satisfying part in the whole building process is to put the uh, top finish on to see the grain come alive. I used two coats of hardback soil. Meanwhile the oil was drying, I started with a paint job on the cabinet. I painted the cabinet with one coat of primer and two coats of uh, top paint. Between the coats I did a light uh, sanding to smoothen the surface off. Before the cabinet was done I had to mount all the handles. And with that done, I could start to move the furniture to where it was supposed to stand. Here it is. This is what it turned out to. If you like this video, give it a thumb up and leave a comment. And don't forget to hit the subscribe button. Thanks for watching. Thank you.